Hey guys, it's Emily here and welcome back to my channel. It's the end of the month, which means it's time for another plan with me. I'm just going to say this straight off the bat that I'm not really happy with how any of these spreads came out. I don't know, this is just the first month where I'm not strongly motivated to try any themes to be honest and I wasn't really good at drawing the things that I had to for this theme. The theme that I did end up going with this month is of course Peacock. If I had to be real, I was originally going to go with another theme but I was quote unquote inspired to do Peacock because of a game I was playing. Yes, you really can find inspiration anywhere. But I will say, drawing peacocks and peacock feathers is way out of my capabilities. Anyways, July is one of the months that I have more time than usual on my hands. So I decided to do something I usually wouldn't do, which is a cover slash quote page for the theme. What I'm doing is sketching out two peacocks facing each other. I was particularly inspired by white peacocks because I think it's so rare to see or even mention a white peacock, but they are so, so beautiful. So the concept is that the left peacock will be the traditional blue-green peacock that everyone is familiar with, and the right peacock will be a majestic white peacock. The quote over their heads reads, Be afraid of being the same as everyone else, which I found suiting because of the two different peacocks. For each peacock feather, for the blue-green one, I did a blue and orange dot at the center stem of each feather, and I surrounded it with green strokes. All of these with my mild liners. I ended up not really liking it and ended up coloring the majority of the feather tail coat green while using a black pen to do the details like the rough strokes around the feathers. I noticed that peacocks have this thing <laughs> on their heads, they're like stiff sticks with circles at the ends. I don't know, insert Pika picture here to demonstrate. So yeah, I just added that detail on their heads as well as adding some details to its face. I then went in with my blue, green, and mint to color in the body. At first I was doing dots, but I wanted to cover the entire body with color. So for this part, just make sure that they kind of overlap each other so that it's a more consistent blend of the three colors. And then for the wing, I went in with a gray and with my pen, I added some details by doing little semi-circles to show the roughness, I guess. I also did that for the body, forgot to mention. Now, moving on to the white peacock, which is definitely the less annoying one since there's no color involved. I just went in with my pen and I did a line for the feathers and surrounded the line with some rough strokes to show the feather. The tail coat for this peacock is more like spread and open rather than down just to differentiate it and it was also in the reference picture that I was using. I also added this little branch for them to stand on because I mean they need to stand on something. I decided to draw a border around the quote as you see here. Um, I didn't really have a straight edge so I just used that ID card holder thing and it was just to make a border. Now I'm outlining the quote. Be afraid of is in a typewriter block stamp style and I did being the same as well as everyone else in a more cursive style and I decided to do a gradient of blue, mint, and green. 
Now I'm just erasing all of the pencil sketches from this page and adding some pen outlines to the cursive to kind of bring it out some more. Now to the right, we're gonna do our calendar. I decided to do a one page calendar since, you know, July, what's gonna happen? We're in quarantine A, there's no school, nothing. It's summer vacation, so I thought one page would be suitable. Now I'm drawing a peacock sideways feather on the top of the page. So there's this dark blue and it's kind of like a crescent shape. It's like a thick crescent shape. And then it's outlined by a light blue circle. Then there's going to be a brown almond shape surrounded by a mint almond shape. And then of course you're gonna have the green and it's gonna be that top like feathery part. And then on the bottom it's going to be all these tiny strands of feather surrounding and curving that shape. Uh, I suck at it explaining but yeah, <laughs> that's what it is. And then just to separate the different strands, I'm going to use my pen to really give it the rough feathery look. I'm gonna write July in this nice, really cursive, flowy font because, you know, Peacock's majestic. And then I'm going to go back to all of the down strokes and make them thicker, you know? This is faux calligraphy here, some tips. And I think it just gives it a really nice, majestic, fancy vibe. I'm doing a more tall, skinny calendar for this page. I've never tried that and I, I don't know, it just seemed very peacock-like for me. I believe mine ended up four squares by six squares. My pens are kind of dying, my black pens, and that's quite a tragedy. So I end up switching pens to a pen I've never tested before, and that's actually very sad because it ended up smudging everywhere in the end. And yeah, that's not very fun. Anyways, since peacock feathers have a lot of different colors, I used a dark blue, light blue, mint, and green mild liners and did a dot in the corner and then put the day over the color circle. And then I highlighted the day of the week in those four colors as well. And the erasing part, you can see where all the smudging happens. Moving on to our first weekly spread of July. Well, I found after school ended in June, my tasks were basically just like three to four max each day. So I wanted to try this less restricted and free style that I didn't want to do before because I didn't think it would have enough space for all of my tasks. So I ripped up a book page, a some craft paper, and I overlapped them in the corner. Um, now we're going to draw a feather in the top left corner, same way we drew it at the top of the July month. Although I think this one was more rushed, so it looks a little worse. <laughs> I was trying to draw a feather fan, but I just couldn't get it, so yeah, I gave up on that. Not very quickly, I tried a lot of different like styles and possible ways to draw this feather fan. I didn't like any of them, so I was like, let's not do the feather fan. You'll see it in my original sketch for this weekly spread. Next, I drew a dream catcher on the right side of the page, the top left. Um, how did I draw this dream catcher? So I started off with a circle in the middle, and then I just did these cone-shaped triangles. Ooh, uh, <laughs> just the rounded triangle shape. It's kind of like a pine cone, you know? 
I mean, mine didn't come out very well, so I don't know if I'm the best person to go for drawing dream catchers, but that's just how I did it. And then uh, I drew a little string with two beads on the string, um, a longer white bead, and then five feathers at the end. Peacock feathers are very difficult to draw. I honestly tried to avoid drawing them as much as I possibly could because I'm not very good at them. <laughs> so, you know, drawing five of them in the same area was quite something for me. I did the dream patcher in this nice teal blue color that I use for the stem of the feather which isn't very long so I decided to incorporate this color some more. After outlining the dream catcher inside net part with pen, I decided to go over it with some gray mild liner for some definition depth. And then I added some more craft paper and book page to the bottom right of my page. This is the first time that I'm using some like outside paper and not just drawings for like my bullet journal spreads. I've only done it for like my other spreads. <laughs> Anyways, I one of the reasons I really wanted to do the peacock theme was because I knew I had this peacock print pattern scrap paper. So I decided to add that along as well. Now I'm just outlining where I wanted the day of the weeks to go. I'm eyeballing the space. I'm not like counting, oh, it has to be like 10 squares. No, nothing like that. I'm just seeing where it looks okay in approximately. I did it in a cursive and I used the abbreviated version of the day of the week. And then on the right side of the day of the week, I put the date. Um, as usual, I have a quote for the week. It's from the song that I'm currently listening to as I journal. This one came from Answer Love Myself by BTS. It says, loving myself might be harder than loving someone else. You'll see how I color that in in a little bit. Anyways, for the days of the week, I'm using a pen and I'm making the downstrokes thicker like I did for the July cursive style. I ended up falling in love with this cursive style. I really love it so, so much. Faux calligraphy is awesome for people like me who can't do it. <laughs> and it actually like looks so, so good. Like the real deal. I also did it with a pen because like I don't really have a black marker that won't bleed through my paper. Anyways, I'm going back with some blues and greens and mints and just highlighting some parts of the cursive. And then for the quote, for the cursive part, loving myself, I'm doing it in the same gradients that I did for the quote page. And I did that for loving someone else. And then I did the might be harder in regular pen. Of course, it's the smudging pen. So that worked out so, so great. For this one, I'm dividing each page into quarters. I've done this style spread before, but this time it's a little bit different. I'm going to write the day of the week and the dates at the top of each quadrant. And then I'm going to draw a line five grids below the title. I decided I wanted to add a little feather fan detail. This time I chose an easier feather fan. It ended up looking more like a bunch of flowers and wheat, but that's okay. It's okay. <laughs> Cries. Anyways, that top part is where I'm gonna put in any events for the day. And then that line separates it from, you know, the tasks. Then I'm finishing each quadrant off by drawing a rounded rectangle. Of course, it wouldn't be me if I didn't mess up in counting. I can't count for my life. 
and I accidentally messed up the mint top one. This happened last time too. Oh, <laughs> I really don't learn. For the quote of the week, I was listening to For You by BTS and it was, I am always under the same sky. I did I am and under in cursive and I did always the same sky in capitals. Moving on to the next spread. This one was again another really free one. Each day was going to be a gigantic feather and then they were going to be surrounded by a bunch of tiny feathers. The feather itself isn't like a peacock feather or anything, it's just, just a feather. I didn't color in each feather but now that i'm thinking about it it might have been a good idea i just outlined them with color but maybe filling them in would have been a good idea as well because they look kind of strange they don't look like feathers at all <laughs> this is why this one's one of my biggest regrets but who knows maybe i should just color them in i wrote the day and the date on top of the feather so the day goes to the left and i did the abbreviation again and i did the date to the right i left space in the bottom right corner for my quote slash lyric of the week by the way and this week's quote is i'm so afraid that she will leave me again in the end this is from the truth untold also by bts so i did I'm so afraid in this scratchy font so I could communicate that fear that she will in regular handwriting and then leave me again in cursive and in the end write under the A, I, and N in again in regular handwriting. And now for the last weekly spread of the month. Um, I accidentally did two rows of dark blue mild liner, so I thought, yeah, whatever, we're just gonna do two rows of blue and two rows of light blue. I originally intended to use all four colors, you know, dark blue, light blue, mint, and green, but because of that mistake, it couldn't happen. But you know, always use your mistake to your advantages or use it for new opportunities. It's here that I realized as I was numbering the days for this final spread that I messed up the days for the other weekly spreads. Um, yeah, it went all the way back to my second weekly spread, so I just quickly corrected that. I wrote each day in the same cursive that I've been doing throughout this entire video, and I just really, really loved that. So yeah, this next part of my bujo, I was inspired by Oh No Nina's fake washi tape. So basically for the rest of the strip of mild liner highlighter, I decided to do an alternating feather dot feather pattern. And I alternated the feather going diagonally left and diagonally right in between each dot. I think that just helps to incorporate the theme a little more in a very cute and subtle way. Anyways, for this last quote of the week, it's from Bon Bon Chocolat from Everglow. And it says, it's time to face a you you've never known before. And this is where I incorporated the two colors that I wasn't able to with face AU in the mint color and known before in the green color, both of those in cursive. If you watched last month's plan with me, you'll know that I started to do this doodle a day thing. So I am doing that again because I really enjoyed it last month. And this is me outlining my doodle calendar. It's going to be sideways, one page. Each one is going to be a square. So once I outlined enough space for all of the days, I took my different colors of the month and highlighted the days of July. 
I wanted to keep it more open space because I was drawing and sometimes I like having my drawings across more than one day. At the top, to top off the spread, I drew a feather that's like going down like for something to sit on and yeah, I put July over it in the same beautiful cursive style. And I wrote doodle calendar in a nice little cute little handwriting font right next to it. Anyways, this is my final flip through of my July bullet journal setup. This is my quote cover page and calendar spread. This is my first weekly spread in this new style that I'm trying. I've never done this before really excited to try it. Here's my second weekly spread in this very spacious eight, eight quadrants. Here's my third weekly spread in this very abstract feather freely flowing spread. And here's my final weekly spread with a simple horizontal layout with a simple mild liner highlighter stroke to separate the days. And here is my doodle calendar spread. It's a simple calendar just for me to fill in through the month. Be sure to join me on Instagram where I will be posting my completed doodle calendar at the end of the month. Anyways. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next week.